guests are people who are struggling to make ends meet. Uh, they're the working poor. Many of the guests that come here are those who are in poverty, or close to the poverty, um, or close to the poverty trend. We're no longer just feeding the homeless. We're now feeding the everyday working family. In one of the richest places in the country, we have Long Islanders who are, who are having to make these really dif difficult choices. So our guests can be anybody. It could be you or I at any given moment. There are a lot of stories that come into the Mary Brennan Inn on the reasons why that a lot of, like, a lot of people are homeless. Um, there are so, so many reasons, going from financial to, to sickness, to the fact that they can't physically uh, keep up a house started feeding very quickly 50 people a day and today 26 years later we are serving over 500 people. There's issues that go far beyond just the um, hunger issues so education is certainly an area that we concentrate on. We have a no questions asked policy. We believe that anyone in need doesn't need to prove that they are in need. As long as anyone can behave in a socially acceptable manner they're welcome to come in. First, the emergency services at the inn is, is basically anything that, any emergency that a guest comes in with. Um, but we primarily, our emergency services are primarily the emergency shelters as well as our soup kitchen. Um, we have one main soup kitchen in Hempstead, which is the Mary Brennan Inn. It's the largest soup kitchen on Long Island. And we also have 18 affiliate soup kitchens throughout Nassau and Suffolk County. And our three shelters are located in Nassau County as well two of them being for families and one of them is uh, shelter for single men. Well, our volunteers are people from all walks of life, uh, from all different faiths, and uh, it starts with um, our retirees who are looking for a volunteer opportunity. Most of our regular volunteers are retirees. But we're all here for one reason, and that's to give back and to help those who need that help so desperately. Our volunteers are very, very important to the inn, um, especially to the Mary Brennan Inn, because without our volunteers, this building would not work. Seeing a smile on a guest's face, you know, after they've, they're getting a good meal is just, you can't really describe. Well, we serve a five-course lunch here. Um, it goes from soup to a veggie, uh, a gravy, uh, a starch, um, and a meat. The guests inspire me. Um, you see so much of humanity here, and um, just to know that some of our guests are going to have a warm meal, and it may be the only meal of the day for them, just, it's a blessing for anyone who volunteers. We also do have our, our pantry, which gives our groceries. Um, and then our clothing room, which, which that's the biggest thing we have here. Um, it's, it's funny because a lot of people come here just for clothing. They don't come here to eat. They come here just for clothing. I believe the real solution is um, looking at the whole person and uh, seeing besides their needs of food and shelter, what else has happened that has caused them to unfortunately be in that situation. People can help in many, many different ways. We, um, we offer opportunities to not only volunteer, but to also have a food drive or a clothes drive. Um, all different types of drives, even toiletry drives, socks. Someone can have a sock drive that will make a difference for the inn. We get a lot of donations and we go through them and we hang them up according to um, men, women, children. Uh, we inspect them to make sure that they are in good shape, they're clean, and they are something that we would actually wear. One of the things that we always get asked all the time is, what is the most important thing that you need? And our answer is, 
what did you touch today? So everything that you, you touch today is everything that we need every single day. I used to think of the counter in the soup kitchen as a uh, dividing line between those who have and those who don't have. And what I've now seen and witnessed over all these years is that it's really not a dividing line. It really, I see it more as a magnet that can bring us closer together. One of the most important ways to help is just to have the desire to help. We said this 26 years ago and we say it today, anyone on one side of the counter could be on the other side. And um, we need to get to know each other better and recognize we're only serving ourselves. We invite people to come down and take a tour of our agency and look to see what it is that we actually do do. And I always guarantee people one thing, if they come down and take a tour of our facility, that their life will change forever that they will never be the same again. It's not just feeding someone, it's how you do it that really makes the difference. And uh, that's what has set the inner part, and we're very proud of that.